Hey everyone, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today, we are talking aerosols. Out of all of the dental instruments, the ultrasonic scaler creates the most aerosols. And I think we all know by now that for ultrasonic scaling, the goal is not just water management. The goal is aerosol containment to control the risk of disease transmission. So to do this, we use high evacuation suctions and dental dams. For dental cleanings, however, I'm a dental hygienist that does dental cleanings, using a dental dam is not practical. A dental dam is for a dentist that is working on one specific tooth. So let's talk about the different high evacuation devices we can use during ultrasonic scaling and polishing. The first one is the HVE, the high volume evacuation. This is the high speed suction. We all know this one. It's super great if you have an assistant, obviously, but without an assistant, it's not always ideal, but it's still possible. Without an assistant, I am able to comfortably use it for the anteriors. It took practice, but I'm usually pretty good at it now. Of course, it always depends on the patient. For the mandibulars, sometimes it helps to use a cotton roll. I think the mandibular is easier than the maxillary because the maxillary linguals are sometimes difficult because you don't have another hand for the mirror to use, you know, to be able to see. So sometimes asking the patient, can you look up with your chin? Like look up, yeah, perfect. Then you could kind of use direct vision. Do you know what I'm saying? Like you can actually see the linguals. So that helps a lot. So the high speed suction for me works great on the anteriors, but it's very hard for me to use it on the posteriors. But I found a few ways to make it easier on the posteriors. One, cut it in half. You have so much better control when it's shorter it's easier to retract the cheeks and the tongue. Two, get one with a mirror on it. Some actually look like this and they have a mirror in this suction here and some actually look like a mirror and they have a suction all around them. I've heard great things about both and I'm really eager to try both of them soon. But right now for the posteriors, I've been using something else, high speed mouthpieces. There are lots of different options and brands that make these. They are different HVE devices, right? There's different ones like Mr. Thirsty, Dry Shield, Isolite, there's a bunch. They are basically bite blocks that are high speed suctions. Once it's in the mouth, you can only work on one side of the mouth, the side that it's not in. Then you take it out and then put it back in to work on the other side of the mouth. Some patients absolutely love it because it allows them to rest their jaw, but some don't love it because it is a little bit cumbersome. Please remember that the saliva ejector does not qualify as a high speed evacuator. Also, your patient should never close on a saliva ejector, you know, like close, like don't do that. You have to make sure that there's a backflow protector on it. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe if it did. If you want more teeth talk, you can visit my website, teethtalkgirl.com, where there's a search bar where you can search for a specific video topic and see if I made a video on it. I put out new videos every Tuesday and Thursday, and until next time, peace, love, and teeth. <laughs>